What's up guys? On this episode of the Smalls RV Adventures, we're going to go over storage hacks. Stay tuned everybody, you're going to want to see this one. Now guys, these RVs have so much hidden storage. Some of the storage you can see in the cabinets, under the bed, you can see it, but other storage areas you're not going to be able to see, like underneath your dining table area, underneath your couch area. You already may know about the couch area, but most people, a lot of people don't know about the storage underneath the dinette. There's so much storage under there, and I'm gonna show you how to access it if you never saw it before. Now, to get under this storage here, you're gonna need something like a butter knife. Now what you have to do is you have to lift up the cushions just like you're going to set it for a bed. Underneath the cushions there's like a wooden plaque of wood. All you have to do is stick this inside the wood to raise it up. I don't know why the manufacturers didn't just make it an easier way where you can access this. But it is plenty of storage under there and it's obvious that it is storage. So I'm going to show you how to open this up and how to access it in the next segment. All right, you're just gonna lift up the couch here, the cushion, you take your butter knife, you come along here, this thing moves back a bit. All you need is to put this in there just a bit so you can lift this portion up. This bit here comes out. Once you take this out, look at the amount of storage that you have in there. And this is on both sides. You have so much storage. Now, we have to put all of our things inside of here. I'm gonna try to put things evenly because uh, we have two storage bases here and we have a lot of things to put in. Now, we have both storage bins open. We have some food left over. And remember, we store non-perishable food under here so that it can last us for nearly the whole camping season. Now, we camp year round, so we always have food packed in here now, we didn't go far away for a long extended period of time and about a month. So we still have some food in here. Again, it's all good food. It's non-perishable, but we like to have things stacked because as you can see, we have a big family. So having things stacked up so that we have it we need when we need it is the greatest thing ever. Now, we're going to start storing some of this food so that we can have room to put more food so that we can uh, enjoy our camping. Help me out, buddy. Hand me some of these boxes so I can stuff this side first. Okay. There we go. Now, when it's the first time that you're doing this, when you open this up, you're going to discover some loose nails. Not loose nails, but nails that's going to be on the ground. All through your RV, when you find these storage hacks, you're going to find different parts that they left in here that they should have taken out. But don't throw them out because you're going to need them in the future. Let me some more, baby. storage in here you can store your canned goods in there too when we store our canned goods I love to leave them in plastic because if you don't leave the canned goods in plastic they roll all over the place but I'm gonna finish throwing this up now as you can see we still have loads of room to pack non-perishable food and this storage underneath the dinette so it has a lot of room i'm not the most organized person so like if you're more organized you'll be able to fit more in but this is right under the dinette as you can see and you still have loads of room in there some people 
cut out inserts in the wood so that they can access it better without taking off this wooden plank, but this is good enough for us. Here's the unit closed back up. Again, you can't even notice that there's storage under there, but it's full with food. Now, right over here where my babies are sitting, that's another storage under there. How y'all doing? What y'all playing? I'm playing Minecraft. Y'all play Minecraft? All right. You guys do a lot of schoolwork? Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of people, they say, oh my God, you guys are on electronics all of the time. My kids only on electronics when they're on their breaks. They have a lot of time where they're doing their schoolwork, so this is some of the time that they get when they're on their breaks. All right. There's a lot of stories that we do know about, like the cabinets on the side here. We also have cabinets over here. Now I'm gonna show you a hack with this cabinet storage because all of the time you drive, your things are gonna move all over the place. So you probably saw this on other YouTube channels. Doesn't hurt to see it again. You can get these things from a 99 cent store, Dollar General, Family Dollar, they only cost 99 cent. Uh, or you can get it from Amazon and pay a little bit more, but we got it from the 99 cent store. So I'm gonna show you the hat that we use. All right, so this is the hat here. Remember, I'm not the most organized person, but we have these little storage bins here that you can get from Amazon or you can get it from a 99 cent store, whatever your preference is. And this will hold all your things together. Now remember, we're running back and forth driving hitting bumps everything so you can have it really uh organized but once you start hitting bumps it's going to go all over the place so you have these bins just to hold everything in order as you can see it's very nice in here you know you, you if you need to pull it out you can just pull it out and then you can just put it right back in so it's really nice okay this is a very obvious one where you lift up your couch and you have storage under here we usually put our pots and pans under here air fryer or anything big uh the pots or electronics under here very good for storage you have a large space here all right another storage you have is under your bed this is not the most obvious but uh for people that don't know i'll show you it right here if you lift up your mattress there's a wooden here we store clothes under here and blankets but this lifts up and there's plenty of storage here where you can store clothes or anything that you may need. I want to take this opportunity to give a shout out to my boy, Ruben Rivera Jr. He's the one that designs my opening logos. Cool guy. Check him out on Instagram. Rivera Paints Designs. It's on Instagram. I'm going to put the link in the description. I'm also going to tag it where you can see it. As you can see, there's plenty of storage in these RVs. If you have an entertainment console, like in ours, most of the RVs have it. These drawers, they all open where you have storage in there. You can store anything in there. You know, you're the only one that's going to know what's in there. It's your house. But this is all great areas for great storage. Now remember, guys, if you like these videos, please hit that like button. Let us know you like it. We also have Facebook groups. The Smalls RV Adventures, you can log on to see it. You don't have to join if you don't want to, but it gives up-to-date information of where we're going to be and things that we're into. We also have an Overlander group that I'm a part of, and we do everything Overland. Driving nice trucks, you see a lot of people's trucks, modifications. It's great. Check out our channel. It's great for newbies. You learn a lot of hacks. Hit that subscribe button if you really like it. Ring that bell, that notification bell, so you know that when we bring out new videos. From the bottom of my heart, thank you guys for tuning in. Until next time, see you later, everybody.